Badland winches, wireless winch remote control. We're gonna get this installed and make this useful. And this says it works with the 6,000 pound, 9,000 pound, and 12,000 pound Badland winches. In, out, oh, it's already got a battery in it. Sweet. Looks like we can screw that down somewhere. There's the antenna right there. The green thing, and that should match up on our winch. Let's go see. And you know, if you're just hooking these up for temporary use like I am right here, just to test, I'm just gonna run the nut down. I'm not gonna go get my wrench, and then we'll just kind of tighten it that direction by moving the cable that way, same thing here. Okay, that gives us a nice snug fit. Okay, we've got this wireless remote stretched out here. I'm probably gonna plug this in and leave it connected because I don't wanna be disconnecting and reconnecting this stuff all the time. So those two little arrows line up, those two little white arrows, just line those up and we'll give it a quick snug. And uh, there's the box, here's the control. Let's go out and see if it'll go out. Okay, sweet. It does. Let's retract it. Okay, looks like it's going to do the business. All right, let's just see if we can't hard mount this box to right here. We've got to take this thing off. We've got the four screws out. Let's see if this top comes off. Okay. Now, we don't have a ton of room because... This sticks up well above the edge here. We have a little bit of room in there, but we're gonna have to be careful. What we'll do is we'll put screws from the inside, kind of flathead screws from the inside right here. So this is not unlike drilling a hole in your roof. So I'm using this flex seal, flex paste, <laughs> whatever. Um, it's supposed to be very waterproof and does kind of harden up. So I started to use silicone, but I don't have any silicone that, um, I don't want to open a whole tube of silicone just for a little bit of this. So we're just going to run these through here like this. And this is going to be a nasty mess. I just, I resorted myself, resigned myself to that. It's going to be nasty and it's going to be messy and it's not going to look great, but it's going to make a good seal. Okay. So you might be laughing at me right now and I don't blame you, but you got to keep these solenoids dry. If the water gets in them, it'll ruin them. Okay, did I way overdo it? Yes! And am I mad that I used this white stuff? Yes! I should have used something black. This is going to just look really tacky. I should have used to use black silicone or black... I think you can even get this Flex Seal stuff in colors. But this Flex Paste is the only Flex stuff I think that... I mean, the Flex Seal spray is not something you'd want to use on this. So basically we're just gonna push this down. Hopefully this will do the trick. So we brought the cable off the back, just zip tied it to these um, other main cables here, brought it around the side, it comes up, stays out of the way. Um, now, if this fails or my battery goes dead, we'll still have the backup, you know, the manual control that we can use. And uh, so we'll just unplug that drop it down here and then you can plug in the manual control. Okay, good. Should be nice and sealed, should be weatherproof still. Um, if you mount this thing on its side, um, that can be a problem because water can get inside of it and then it just kind of fills with water and then that's what shorts out and ruins your solenoids. So uh, make sure to keep it mounted upright. If you do mount it on its side, you know, seal it. Take it apart, put some butyl rubber tape around it maybe, or uh, you know, something to make a good seal, good waterproof seal. Okay, so just keep that in mind. That's the reason I was kind of went overkill on this kind of thing up here, just to make sure no water gets in from the top. Okay, and then just to keep the remote with the winch, I just made this little quick clip with this little keychain thing, it has a little uh, clip that just pops off, okay? And this way it's always with the winch, and I'll keep it uh, together, and I won't lose it. Okay, I'll still probably lose it, but it is kind of redneck. I'm sure you could think of a lot better ways to do this. Let me know in the comments or send me a video link of what you did. Hey, thanks guys for watching.